In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make hydrogen gas using items readily available at Walmart or Harbor Freight. Keep in mind that the hydrogen gas that you're going to be producing is going to be of high concentration, but it's not going to be super high purity. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need some muriatic acid. This is used in swimming pools, also known as hydrochloric acid. Walmart in the pool section, hardware store, and many other places sell muriatic acid. Like all other acids, you must be extremely careful when handling acids. You want to make sure you have rubber gloves on, goggles to protect your eyes, even better, a face shield, and you also must have, all ready to go, some baking soda, as well as plenty of water. In the event you splash yourself with the acid, you'll be able to neutralize it. You're also going to need a piece of magnesium. Now there's many sources of magnesium. You can go to Home Depot, buy a float for working concrete, and use that. It's about 20 bucks. You can get a piece of magnesium about this big, and about that wide, and maybe 8 to 10 millimeters thick. Or, you can go to the camping section of Walmart. You could purchase this online right here, or even go to Harbor Freight. Now what this is, is one of those camping fire starters. Over here, there was a flint that I popped off. Let me show you that. Here it is right here. It was epoxied on the side. And what you would do is you would take this tool that was included, go like this, take off a bunch of shavings. Then you would take this tool right here, where the flint would be, scrape it like that, sparks fly off into the small pile of magnesium shavings, to ignite them. These go for around three or four dollars. So this is your best bet right here. You're going to need a balloon to capture the gas in as it's being produced. You're also going to need a bottle like you see here. Do not use plastic because when the acid comes in contact with the magnesium, a lot of heat is generated. And if you use plastic, you're going to melt the bottle. In order to prevent the bottle from getting too hot and cracking, you're also going to need a small pail like you see right here with about four inches of cool water inside of it because we're going to take the bottle to prevent it from cracking from the heat that's generated and we're going to place it inside the pail while it's producing the gas. We're going to take about an inch and a half, maybe two inches of muriatic acid, pour it inside this bottle, and then I'm going to take a chunk off of this igniter using a hacksaw to my fingernail right about there maybe three-eighths of an inch in length from this end to here we're going to take that piece drop it inside the bottle with the acid take the balloon put the balloon on top after it's been stretched you want to inflate it a few times stretch it out make it nice and loose so the gas can go into the balloon easily once the balloon is on top Place it inside the bath of cool water. Wait about 10 minutes. The balloon will be full of gas. Pop it off and tie a knot. Okay, let me demonstrate. Okay, I cut a piece of magnesium off that striker bar. All ready to go. Loosen the cap. Do this in a well-ventilated area because the muriatic acid does give off fumes. I'm now going to take the acid, pour about an inch and a half to two inches into the bottom of the bottle. Don't put too little, because if you do, the acid is going to end up neutralizing once it dissolves about halfway through. So make sure you put about inch and a half to two inches so there's enough acid to continue the chemical reaction with the magnesium. Yeah, a little bit more. All right, that should be good. Let me stretch the balloon out, and I'm going to move the camera to a different location where it's going to be more safe to do this. Okay, the balloon has been stretched. I wiped off all the acid on the neck of the bottle here. Safe for me to handle now. It's much easier putting the balloon on without the gloves than it is with the gloves. I suggest you keep yours on though. 
take this piece right here, drop it in the bottle, put the balloon on. Here we go. Place it in the water. And we're going to sit back now and wait for that balloon to fill up. And then we're going to remove it from the bottle. Balloon is filling up nicely, and I can still hear the chemical reaction between the acid and the magnesium inside the bottle. Very good idea to stand back while this is going on. In the event the bottle cracks, you're going to have the hydrogen from that balloon shooting through the bottle and out the bottom and possibly splashing water or acid on you. So always stand back while doing this. Okay, I'm going to remove the balloon now. That's enough. Tie it off, and here it is. You can see it wants to float, but there is also muriatic acid fumes in here, and it's heavier than the hydrogen, so that's why it's not floating up completely. If this breaks, you do not want to inhale what is inside this balloon. The muriatic acid fumes can damage your lungs. So do this outdoors if you're going to do it at all. Now I'm going to show you by igniting the balloon, the hydrogen that's inside. And as you can see, plenty of hydrogen inside that balloon. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.